So I'm often asked how to create an impressive PowerPoint deck. How can I make my presentation stand out? Well, the answer is by applying some key principles of presentation designing, you can not only make your presentation stand out, but also make it look more effective. So hi everyone, this is Shruti Sharma. And in this video, I'm going to tell you the 10 golden rules of presentation designing. So without any further ado, let's begin. Well, when it comes to presentation, always remember less is more. The idea is to show minimal content on the slides and talk through your presentation. The audience is there to actually listen to you. They are not there to read out from your slides. You know what happens when we start thinking and compiling all the information, we think that we should put all the information on the slides. And that's where we go wrong. Because before you even begin talking, people would already read your entire slide, which is something you do not want. So keep only the key pointers, the main headline, or just maybe bar graph or one image, just the key thing on the slide. Another reason because of which I always say that keep minimal stuff on your slide is that it gives you much more scope to play with in terms of creative elements. Because if you have too much data out there, your scope of creativity always gets limited automatically. So always remember, show what's important. Less is more. All right. Moving on to the second golden rule of PowerPoint designing. Well, idea should be the hero. I'm sure this is something we all know. But you know what happens when we start designing a PPT? We generally go to websites to take inspiration that what sort, what sort of layout should I use? And we start planning our content as per the shortlisted layout, which should not be the case. Your designing, your aesthetics, your wireframing, PPT structure, everything has to be designed, keeping in mind your key idea. So do not get carried away amidst all the designing and lose the key idea. Everything has to be planned to highlight your key messaging that you're trying to convey through your presentation. So always remember, idea has to be the hero. Moving on to the third rule. Say it visually. Well, I cannot emphasize enough on the importance of visuals in PowerPoint. In fact, I would say that PowerPoint is not a tool to dump data. It's a visual storytelling tool. Now, why am I emphasizing so much on visuals? You know, our visual memories are much stronger than other memories. In fact, there's a recent study which says that people remember 10% of what they hear, 20% of what they read, but 80% of what they see and do. So the idea is to show compelling visuals to support your content with some visuals that can actually catch attention of the audience. So always use images, use vector files, use icons, use infographic, but make sure that you do not make your slide look only verbose with lots of words and graphs. Try to break that monotony using visuals, all right? It will also result in a higher recall value in the mind of your audience for sure. Moving on to the fourth rule. Well, every presentation that we make is made for a purpose, right? We don't suddenly get up and feel like, okay, I have to make a presentation. So either you're trying to sell some idea, you're trying to sell some campaign, design, or pass on some information with a group of people, or probably providing solution to a problem, right? So make sure whatever the purpose is, that one key takeaway, solution, USP, goal, is clearly defined in your presentation. That's very, very important. So it's before you even begin your presentation, sit down and define that goal, that why are you creating this deck? Because only then you will be able to plan your presentation as per that single takeaway. And that will be clear to your audience, all right? Moving on to the fifth golden rule. Well, this is a scientifically proven, uh, tried and tested rule, which might not be applicable to all presentation. I would agree with that. But if you think that you can follow this rule, it will really help you plan your presentation better. So as per the rule of 555, you should have maximum five words per line five lines per slide and if you are making a deck which has verbo slide like very heavy slides do not have more than five such slides in a row because the human mind is cannot register more than that so i'm going to repeat this once again for you the rule of 555 says you should have maximum five words per line five lines per slide and if you have wordy or verbo slide do not have more than five such slides in a row so that's rule of 555 
Moving on to the sixth rule, which is be consistent with style setting. Well, you know, there are times when we learn a lot of tools, like we've learned how to create gradient, we have learned how to play with transparency, and a lot of the tools. And we start applying all those tools on different slides. And before we know that all these slides look like different creative altogether. Whenever you're presenting one deck, make sure it looks like one presentation, which means that there has to be some sort of designing consistency. For example, things like the font. The font should be similar in all the slides. Your headline font should be same. Your subheading font should be same. And so should be your content font. If you're using certain shapes, you can definitely experiment with shape, but try to keep a similar tone of shades, right? Also, when it comes to color, try to keep certain common color in all the slides. Also, besides this, common elements in slides can help. For example, if you are not using a pre-existing template, maybe having a line on top on all the slides, or let's say having one shape in all the slides will bring consistency to your deck and it will look like one presentation. So always be consistent with style setting. You can decide some two, three common elements that can actually fix this problem for you. Moving on to the seventh rule. Moving on to the seventh rule. Keep it simple. Well, this never gets out of style, right? Well, you know, again, when we learn a lot of tools and tricks, we try to put them all in one presentation using multiple animation, using transitions, using summary feature, using color dropper and whatnot. Well, it's great to use tools. Nobody will uh, say no to that. But make sure that your presentation looks simple and easy to understand. Because if the person who's seeing the presentation is finding it too cluttered or finding it too loud and is not able to register the message of the presentation, the whole exercise will go for a toss, right? So keep your presentation simple. Make sure your messaging is clear. Make sure aesthetically your slides look simple and easy to understand and half your job will be done. Trust me. Moving on to the eighth rule. Create an experience. Well, now with PowerPoint evolving every year or so, we get so many options to create an experience overall using our slides. Gone are the days when we used to have blank white slides with black text and using those bouncy and various animations. Now, as we are evolving, there's, there are lots that you can do to make your presentation look like an experience overall. You can add audios, you can add videos, you can add GIFs. And you can use so many other tools to make sure that it does not look like a boring, monotonous deck. You can really bring life to your presentation using some beautiful transitions like morph, using summary zoom feature to create a recap slide and a lot more. You know, it's important to learn new things. It's equally important to unlearn some things which you don't need to use now. So the same way, try to think outside of the box, try to experiment and try to create an experience out of your presentation. Your audience is definitely going to love that. Moving on to the ninth rule. I think this is quite self-explanatory, revise and proofread. You know what happens when we are working on a deck and we have been working on it for quite some time, we get lazy when it comes to revising the deck. And also another tip that I would give you is whenever you're done with a presentation, always check your presentation on full screen mode because there are a lot of gaps that you cannot register or cannot see when you're seeing your presentation on edit mode. So always see it on full screen mode, check all the spellings, check if there are no gaps in the design, shapes, colors, images, everything has to be thought through in your presentation. So this is an equally important step. Don't forget about this one. And coming to the last but not the least, recap is a must. Well, you know, we all live in the generation of smartphones. And can you guess what is the attention span of this generation? Well, it's somewhere between 6 to 8 seconds. So it's actually lesser than attention span of a goldfish. Can you believe that? So what happens when we are presenting a deck? Let's say I'm presenting a 30-minute deck. By the time I'm on my 25th minute, people in the room would have already forgotten few things that I've shown in the first few minutes. So always try to keep a recap slide, which actually encapsulates your entire presentation in one slide. And it does not mean that you should have all slides shown again. Well, you just have to create one slide which has your key pointers, your key takeaway from your slide, from your presentation, uh, the messaging that you want to leave with your audience. So this is a super important step and can create a high recall value in the mind of your audience.
Hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please like, share and subscribe. Also, if you want me to make video on any particular topic in PowerPoint, do let me know in the comment box and I'll surely make one soon. Thank you so much.